Hey, welcome back. It is 123 days into a screenwriter's journey. The journey for the last several days, as I've mentioned several times, has pretty much been limited to pages 5, 6, and 7. Oh my goodness. So this is almost seven weeks ago. Today is December 28th, and so obviously my memory of what I wrote that day isn't 100% crystal clear, but as I read this, I see that I am still trying to set up the whole, I mean, just the dynamics between them, between Holly and Paul, between Holly and Lexi, between Lexi and her friends, trying to figure out exactly how and where and when to introduce the various people. Obviously, Holly still comes in at the beginning. Um, and so Holly has sort of unofficially asked Paul if there's any unofficial rules about staying in touch with people that, you know, kids especially that you've come in contact with and he is advising against it and then I have Holly looking at a laptop trying to understand the world of a foster child <clears throat> may or may not uh, stay so then you know here we are page 8 12 years later oh my gosh it's so funny because I'm reading this now <laughs> And no spoilers. No, forget it. I won't give you any spoilers. So 12 years now, Holly is in her mid-ish 30s. And she is getting off this little plane. I don't even mention it. St st stands at the bottom of an unfolded flight of stairs. But it doesn't say anything about the plane. But this is like a prisoner excuse me, kind of a prisoner transport, a wick sec thing. The idea is without coming out and saying it, that she is now in the Witsec division. And uh, she's obviously kind of in charge. So really the whole purpose of this is to set that up without getting into the exact case of what's going on or you know, it, it basically just setting up who she is and what she's doing now. So la di da as I do that. You might want to put this one on double speed. Or triple, even though it's already on five times. When you do, I always say we, like when we do this, when I do something like this, um, it's funny because you want to obviously write the scene as well as you can. You want to make it compelling, yet at the same time, you don't want it to branch off so far that it takes away from your main story. And, and the first time you write a scene especially, it feels like it's tempting to say too much, do too much, go too far down the proverbial or rabbit hole and then you have to pull it back and say well wait a minute all this scene this scene's entire purpose is to do x and suddenly i've got you know a page worth of stuff um, so what i'm also setting up is that holly is you know kind of in charge of the thing and then she gets a call from paul who we all remember from the previous page or 12 years ago And Paul's line at the top of page nine is just pretty horrible. Basically, <laughs> giving out exposition uh, in a way that is frankly kind of embarrassing. Although at the time I thought it was pretty darn good. Snowing outside, December 28th. Forecast is for gradual snow tonight. Not a great accumulation. Um... So it's, 
it's a journey. I'm just reading this, and I know where where the script is now, in terms of what has changed and what hasn't. And uh, I keep saying it would be super interesting if anyone would ever leave a comment and say, "Wow, this dialogue is awesome. This story is taking a great direction. Don't change it." And then they come back in a week, and it's completely different. They're like, "Why didn't you read my comments?" Um. So Paul is obviously giving out the fact that Holly is in Witsec in case the audience couldn't figure that out. The honors all mine. Since you got a minute to talk a conversation, so there's a little intrigue there. Um, but they're gonna they're about ready to leave, so it's the ticking clock, but in a different sort of sense. So Paul mentions Rachel's name. And then brings in the girl's name and Holly remembers. But of course, it's been um, 12 years. She takes a make to regain her composure. Wow. This, gosh, I just, it's so painful to look back at some of this. It's just so painful. I literally can't hardly, can hardly, can't hardly, can hardly. I can hardly look at the screen. I mean, it's not horrible, maybe. So it sets up that, that Rachel has called um, Paul because she obviously has some contact with his division or whatever and has asked to talk to Holly. So we're setting up... Um, kind of the catalyst-ish thing. But again, I think the problem is that I have no, I've given no inkling to the audience of what Holly's normal life is, let alone Lexi's normal life. But Holly being the protagonist, it's the important one to kind of say to the audience, this is the world that she lives in. This is what she does. And, uh, now we're going to throw her into something different via the catalyst. Yeah, I just uh, listened back to that part, and my nose is kind of stuffy today, so I apologize for that. Um, so if I don't sound overly enthusiastic about day 123, uh, buckle in because there may be a few more like it. I don't know. It's Gosh, it's just crazy, but I won't go on and spend your time, but I will say thanks, and I will see you back here tomorrow.